Hello, hello everybody! My name is Keenan Grace, and today we will be discussing the Mood Board Character Creation Workshop. So the way the workshop works is that you will randomly generate a color, either for yourself or for the group that you are participating with, and you will make a mood board based on that color. As you can see, these two colors became these mood boards. Both mood boards have hints of other colors in them, and that is totally okay. The main thing you're looking for is aesthetic. This can be patterns, textures, places, moods, anything you want, just so long as it gives a foundation for a character to be created. This is the base that we'll be using during the Work With Indies version of this workshop. As you can see, there is a cutout for a 3x3 three three mood board like the ones you just saw. There is a space for you to put your character name, any information about them, and then the space for the character itself. As you can see here, there's the mood board that I made based off of the gray color for my partner Catherine, and this is the character that she designed. You can see that she included a weapon and some small details from the mood board itself. This was my original design attempt. As you can see, it has a lot of details. I personally like to take notes on the different aspects of the mood board that I notice and try to integrate as many as I can into the design. However, sometimes that can get a little overwhelming. At the end of the day, you have to remember how character design works. You start with the most basic pieces and you add to it as you go. So if you're doing this workshop and you find yourself in the place that I was with this character, it's okay to take a step back and start from space one aka the mood board itself. Here is the design I actually made afterwards. As you can see, it is much simpler, but still captures the original essence of the mood board. You can see that the jellyfish shape was added to the skirt. You have these delicate tendrils. You have these striped effects that are in the fabric from the shells. You can see the flowers in the breast piece, you can see the pearls from the ocean, and you can kind of see a little bit of that wispy wild hair texture from the skirt. In the information, you see her name, just little details. Of course, you can always go more into detail. You can come up with a whole world, a story. In this case, I kept it pretty simple. I said that she lives in a stone tower that resides by the ocean cliff sides. This could be, she could be a noble or a princess who's waiting to be saved. She could be a researcher in a mage's tower, and maybe she's, you know, researching. I put that she's got a little bit of a bookwormy personality, she's inquisitive, she wants to learn things, and she's most likely an informative NPC with side quest potential. At the end of the day, we're game developers, and we'd like to see what roles our characters can fill. Here is the mood board I received and the first character I made with this workshop. This workshop was made a few years ago between me and a few colleagues who were all suffering desperately from character and creative block, and we found that this really helped us. You can use this workshop just as a base foundation for your creations or as a way to help you really get out of that funk. The fun thing is, is that any level can do it, and you can either do it with yourself in a random color generator, you can do it with friends, or you can use it in a studio setting. Here are some other examples of the way that I use this method. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, are interested in learning more about the workshop, or you just want to reach out in general, you can follow me at Maybe Mochas. My card is here. And with that, I hope you all have fun creating. Take care. Bye-bye.